Uh, Brutal here. Unfortunately, I had a dip early, so I had to get permission from my good pal Paul Cooper, aka Coopstar Cards. All right, that's Coopstar Cards, guys. Make sure to hit him up on YouTube and subscribe to him. He's fresh out, started his channel a couple weeks back, and he's already broke a thousand subs, and he's growing, crazy growing. Had some, had a fun time filming deck profiles with them all day. And uh, yeah, this is it. Your first place YCS champion, Kobe Short, which he was playing Bandrits a few weeks back. And he, he made the switch to Striker Orcus and just became champion, the newest champion. Let's uh, take it away with the rest of the deck profile, man. Here with the YCS champion. Ooh, look at this, man. Hey, we're here with Trip, baby. Let's go. Coopstar Cards, baby. Coopstar Cards. champion himself, bro. Why don't you explain to the universe the savagery you Yes, man. Yes. Um, so, I took some notes. Hey! Take notes, take notes. Took some notes, did some math. He did the math. He did the math. Hey, nice, nice, man. And this for the, everyone out there, what deck do you play? I played uh, Orcus cards with the Engage. AKA style. the best deck in the nice, game. Nice, nice, right nice. What did you uh, uh, place after uh, Swiss? Uh, 20th after Swiss, I was X2. I lost uh, to Salomon Great twice. Um, and lost rounds four, six, and just didn't lose. No, what was your, some of your matchups like? Um, I played three Orcus and Swiss. Uh, three strikers, two salad, a Draco, a pen, and uh, and you wax everybody, right? Yo, yeah. that's crazy. Especially that's cool. the pen deck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. You swear, this man swear. Incredible goo, bro. Okay, so for Orcus cards, you play three heart, three nightmare, uh, two skeleton, brass, wand, and gizmac. Um, What's your thoughts on this ratio? I these cards were all really good. Uh, I sided brass and nightmare out yeah. a lot. You wouldn't side out the second skeleton? No, I never sided this out. You use this way too much. Yeah. Like you, you banish this every turn almost to bring yeah. back ding and everything. Yeah. Um, these cards were all just godly. Yeah. Uh, normal summons, uh, armor knight, forever, and two math. Yeah. Uh, you. Don't really want to play three math because you're playing 40 cards and you have the rota for five normal summons. Yeah. Um, and if these get stopped, like unless you have one of your good Orcus cards, your turn probably ends. Yeah. Um, but luckily, math math was kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I played hand traps in the deck instead of like into the void. Um, so I played two Phantasmi, two uh, Ash. Um, I wanted to put Phantasmi, Ash, and Imperm in my deck, but I didn't want to go over 40 cards. Yeah. Um, so I just figured like the best ratio I could play was 2-2-2 two, two, two of all of them. Uh, these cards were just crazy all weekend. Yeah. Like setting up the IP board with striker cards and then... Yeah, yeah. it's like five, six, seven interruptions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About six, seven, eight. follow up, like they're just not playing. Uh, spell cards, thriller, um, through turn, uh, three engage, best card in the deck by a mile. Um, every time this card resolves, like you're winning the game. Yeah, yeah. especially when you have like one of these spells like with it. Yeah, wild. like if you go like Rota, Foolish, and Alert, and then yeah. you play engage, yeah. and they actually engage, then your whole Orcus plays yeah. like real. Um, striker spells, one ups. Uh, these were all really good because like, you would engage into this, obviously. Kigori. You don't like Afterburner? Um, no, I sided Jamming Waves. Um, Afterburner, like, wasn't very good because uh, it wasn't... Like, all the decks that you were af like you wanted Afterburner against, you could just side a different card, like Panther Tops or something. Did, uh, uh, did you ever need more uh, of the targets for... Uh... Um, no, most of the games are over, like, really quick, actually. Um, but these were just enough, and then I guess like the grind decks, you would side in the extra striker spell so you can actually resolve engage late game. Mm -hmm. um, these are all really good. Uh, two cosmic. I wasn't meaning any backer removal until uh, I just put these in the deck. Um, this card is like really, really, really good all weekend. It broke the IP board every time. Like 
So this car is this think, car uh, definitely over. You think Cyclone's uh, better than Blister? Definitely, because you can if they leave up their ding, um, you can Cyclone like like if they go ding Galatea, you can Cyclone the trap, or if they leave up their ding, um, you can Cyclone the babble. Yeah. Um, you just never want to be in the situation where like you have to get rid of the ding first, then twin yeah. or anything like that. Uh, one of those foolish. Um, these are all really good. This car is really good. Uh, two and Perm and Crescendo. Uh, just more interrupts. Yeah. You, you said this for six, six hand drops, yeah? Yeah. And then two so, cycles, so like eight, like cards that aren't there. Yeah. Extra time. Extra Oh, wait, actually, before that, bro, a lot of people don't do this in the profiles, but how do you, what do you sign out? Oh. Okay. For the world so, to know. Like it's, a, it's pretty tough with this what to take out because a lot of engine requirements. Yeah. So like aside from the two cards that you said or the Orcus engine, the rest yeah. you just take out the extra like the hand traps and stuff, right? So it's really matchup dependent. Um, <laughs> and whenever you play against like the Orcus deck, it's really hard to cipher that deck because you have, you really have to gauge the player in that matchup. Some of them some of them play like way more aggressive. Some of them like to control uh, control the game. Um, so your side deck like. Sometimes you have to side in Panker Tops against the deck because they, they overcommit to the IP board or um, sometimes it's evenly is really good against that deck. Um, I just- But like you just take out the hand traps and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Most of so, the time so. you take out the hand traps, uh, you take out, uh, if you're siding out your Orcus stuff, you take down one of these because you never want to see this without these cards. Yeah. Um, if you have to, you side out a order. Right, right. Um, that that cosmic makes sense. Yeah, yeah, Cosmic's yeah. also matchup dependent. Makes sense, makes sense. Extra time. Oh, sure. Uh, how many cards is that? Uh, 40 in the main. Okay. Um, two Ding, God card, uh, two, uh, one Kagari, card's not a two. Um, Barricade Borg. Uh, so, this was Link Haribo, but then, um, there was a lot of the times where you would open like engage mathematician or yeah. engage armonite yeah, um you and they would negate your normal summon but you would have like a dead orcus card in your hand and you would summon this to just be yeah. able to play your turn through yeah. their hand trap with your engage stuff. Yeah. yeah uh phoenix ip uh this card's crazy oh yeah made this card in every game yeah. um galatea best card in the extra deck or cycles gives you such a good late game yeah. um Long Gear Sue, Unicorn, uh, Trispana for all the trap decks, uh, Zoroboros. Um, this card's really, really crazy. Uh, you made this look actually just more than Boral Sword. Um, oh, yeah. Boral Sword doesn't really come up unless like you only have enough for a game. Yeah. Uh, you can IP into this, banish their whole field, and then on the next turn it just comes back and it's like 8,000 attack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Boral Sword and Topologic. All right, all right. Side deck time. Just be waiting for this. Um, Purple Lantia. <laughs> uh, God card. Um, Pank. Uh, this was going to be Nibiru, but I figured Pank was like better. You could draw into Pank. Uh, it does the same. It, it'll break the Orcus field. Um, it's really good against Salad, too. Uh, Striker, everything. This card's just really good. Uh, three Dark Ruler No More for the Thunder combo decks. Um, I was really scared of that deck. Um, this card, like, the one time I did play against Edry, this card's, this card's very, very good. Um, backer removal, twin, uh, evenly in jamming waves. Uh, you side this against all the trap decks. Uh, sometimes you side this against the Orcus deck and anything that's overcome is to the field. Um, Really, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Is there any shout outs that, that, you, that you like to give, man? Uh, dude, I got a, got a pile of shout outs. Okay. Um, so, shout out to Luxury Gaming, first off. Um, check out our tournament page, Facebook, our YouTube, uh, everything. Um, shout out to everyone at home, specifically Josh. He literally let me anything I needed to play in perms um, last minute. Uh, shout out to Hani. Hani. Hey, shout out. Hani's the goat with that goat. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Avery, Mark, uh, Alex, Deuce, uh, like 
Christian. Cam is very important. Cam, mm -hmm. uh, Cam was. I didn't see Cam this weekend. It's crazy. Mm, yeah. yeah, I don't know where he's at. Busy twelve sixteen in the Yeah, he was he was playing a local. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, shout out to Cody for the finals. I uh, had a real good game. Um, shout out to everyone at home. Everyone that supported me throughout the weekend. Uh, that's it. All right. Nice. Well, congratulations. All right. Congratulations on first place. Finish, bro. Finish.